Morning, morning, Patriots. It's me again, Santa Fox here, Devoted to Patriots 2 channel. I'm over here on the YouTube and on the Rumble under the same name, all one word on the Rumble. Let me go ahead and get straight into some news. Before I do that, um, this way network today between 10 and 12 o'clock will have uh, chat sessions, uh, Fox and Archibald, and uh, blue collar talk shows on this morning. Every Monday we do. We usually record them on Wednesday evenings. And they come out the following Monday morning, uh, and they, they pop up as a live. And uh, you're welcome to come and get in on the chats over there. Um, most of us usually, uh, even though it's pre-recorded, most of us usually uh, hop in on the chats as well and uh, just get in on the comments, me and William and Matt and Dave. Come check us out. Says, uh, let me get into some uh, news real quick. Says, uh, Mainstream media now acknowledges Biden's arrogant sanctions on Russia are damning Americans, and there is no doubt about that. What I see is gas is going up, prices, groceries are going up, and um, the only thing that seems to matter to Biden is, is not what's happening to his constituents, the American people, but how his numbers weigh in, according to Trump's. He's in some kind of a uh, rat race competition. Um... You know, Biden didn't mind being the bad guy, uh, pushing all our country over the cliff with all his crazy policies from his left wokey friends. Didn't mind a bit. Didn't mind making the American people suffer a little bit, suffer a whole lot behind the expense, the economy crashing. Didn't bother him. Doesn't bother him. Doesn't bother him. Well, as soon as he finds out his numbers are so low, Trump looks better than him on the poll numbers, even from his own team, from the CNNs and the MSDNCs. Now he's got a problem. Now he's worried about it. So he doesn't really give a crap about anybody in this country uh, with his policies, the way he pushes policy with these executive orders and things. Doesn't matter. He don't care about your feelings. He don't care about your uh, your livelihood, your lifestyle. He definitely doesn't care about your 401k plan or your retirement. But he does seem to have a problem with the fact that... Um, his numbers aren't as good as he'd like them to be. Now, that is a selfish human being. It sounds like to me that the only thing that he cares about is uh, being better than Trump, and that is never going to happen. Uh, in the polls, um, when Trump was hated at his high highest point from all the mainstream hoax, garbage, propaganda, propaganda media working against him, Biden's still tanking lower than that, and Biden hadn't been... Uh, Attacked, berated, or proven uh, a whole lot of things yet. Um, no hoaxes against Biden yet, but his numbers are still lower than Trump's was at his lowest point. And that was because um, all the uh, optics being pushed out by the uh, optics and narrative pushed out by the mainstream media. Well, for this, at this point in time, the media covers Joe Biden's butt like, like nobody else, and he's still below Trump in the numbers. What if he had uh, one of those investigations like about his son or something actually on the table every day on the news every minute of the day, kind of like the Russia, Russia, Russia thing? You think his numbers would even be registering at this point? No. So Joe Biden's numbers are bad because of his actions. When Trump's numbers were the worst, it was because of the way the Democratic Party was pushing the narrative. So either way you look at it, whether Joe likes it or not, Trump's numbers were always better because there was always the narrative uh, being pushed against him by the mainstream media and uh, I just make, think that doesn't make it a very fair poll but I'm glad to see Biden is going down the tubes because um, he's got nothing good for this country he doesn't care about the citizens of this country he cares more about being better than Trump in his own mind I don't know I don't get it I guess that's all he's got swimming around in his head up there is orange man bad and I got to do better than that with my uh, with my numbers from the CNN. What an idiot. Let me get into a little more news. I'm ranting again. Get a little, a little bit of my coffee. It's another violent weekend. Lots of drive-by shooting. Lots of people shot at. Lots of people shot. Another day in the big city it looks like. Now, there's a couple articles on here that I'm not going to be able to tell you much about. Uh, first off, there's a chunky abortion fanatic, two of them, that stripped down to their granny panties 
and interrupt Joel Osteen, uh sermon. Joel Osteen, uh, the minister here in town. Actually, he's not far from me, far from me here. And uh, there's a video about it. You're welcome to watch the video. Two women wearing half shirts uh, and panties running uh, run around in the church uh, screaming about their abortion rights. Pretty disgusting. But there's definitely a, uh, what you call a, um, a, uh, a wardrobe fail. One of the women's hanging out all out from underneath the shirt. I'm not going to put that on the video. I'm not going to put that on my channel. But uh, it's over on the Gateway Pundit. you got these uh, wackadoodles, half-naked, complaining about abortion in church of all places. They need to find their place. That's all I can say about that. And put some more clothes on for a fact. Says Joe Biden's uh, diabolical plan, bureaucrats to grant asylum to judges, uh, grant asylum, not judges, and it's being broadcast on Spanish language TV. And there's a video about it as well. Joe Biden is trying to uh, tell all these people in a roundabout way through Mexican television that they're welcome here. And uh, they will be able to grant asylum once they get here. Pretty disgusting. You're welcome to go check that out. A little too early for me to be throwing that up on here. I don't need to be pissed off this early in the day. I do see the Supreme Court is doing a whole heck of a lot this week. Uh, got got a lot of bills before their desk. And, but we will have to see how all that goes. Now, I do want to let y'all know that early voting starts tomorrow. Primary vote or primary voting starts tomorrow in six or seven states. And if you're in one of those states, go do your job. Go vote. Go vote some of these rhinos out and uh, do your vetting process and make sure you pick the right per people for your state, the ones that stand for election integrity and not the old okie dokes that happened in 2020. And that's all I got for you on that. Just get out there and vote if you get a chance this week. Now, here's one of the two articles that I can't really say much about, but recent CISA report identifies massive system vulnerabilities in those machines. You know which ones I'm talking about. We call them dementia over here. The ones that were used in Georgia, and they actually used in about half our states. After they say these machines are very vulnerable to uh, systematic errors and tampering and things, at the same time, Georgia then claims there is no evidence that the vulnerabilities were actually abused last year, year and a half ago. Well, the question is, how can they be trusted if they're hackable um, internet accessible whether they claim or don't claim or or say no it's not possible couldn't have happened the fact of the matter is it could have happened it probably did happen as far as i'm concerned it did happen and uh, they're still playing this uh too stupid to see what's going on game over there in georgia and i hate to see it but it, that's what's really going on georgia is one of those states that we were hoping to stay red but they got way too many rhinos over there running the show right now and until we get some of them out of office, we're stuck with it. And that's just a fact. Need to watch them close, like, watch them like a hawk, uh, just for the way um, they run their selections over there. Like I said, there's a link in the description below to that one, and there's going to be a link in the description below to the, this next one as well. It says, uh, recent Georgia GOP primary <clears throat> exhibited more patterns of eerily similar to the 2020 with the... Uh, what they call the drop and roll, how they did the nasty, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, read the article, just show some of the similarities of what happened then and what's going on now in some of these states. Now, I got one more piece of, two more pieces of news for you real quick before I get off here. Strong and fearless, Trump endorsed minority leaving leader Kevin McCarthy despite booze at the Wyoming rally. I do not agree with Kevin McCarthy as minority leader. I do not like the man, I think he is wishy-washy. I think he is a younger version of Mitch McConnell, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't think Trump had anybody to contend against him to beat Kevin McCarthy. And so, overall, I think he pretty much has to give Kevin McCarthy his endorsement. Is a kind of a play ball kind of thing you have to do. But in reality, I do not agree with that at all. I would not vote for Kevin McCarthy if I just wouldn't do it. I'll leave it at that. Maybe Trump was in a position he felt like he had to. I don't know. Maybe that was uh, the best thing for the party is uh, 
put Kevin McCarthy back in his position. Yeah, but who gets to be Speaker of the House? Hopefully not him. Vernon Jones says, this is pretty funny. At a Save America tour, Vernon Jones says, Straight white males, most discriminated group in U.S. and the U.S. deserve their own Pride Month. I agree with that. You know, if the military only gets one day, uh, the veterans only get one day, and, and, and the, the fallen veterans only get one day, Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and uh, the blacks get a month, uh, the gays get a month, um, let's, let's give everybody a month, right? Well, what about the white guys? Are we white so white privileged we don't get our own holiday? I don't need a particular holiday myself. But it's pretty obvious that if you're going to give a month, uh, a whole month to uh, promote any any type of lifestyle or any nationality of, of people, you would think somewhere along the way, straight white males would eventually get their own day too. I don't know. It's just kind of strange. I'm glad he, he actually put it out there. Vernon Jones is a black guy, if you don't already know. And I just uh, I think it's pretty pretty amazing. The black guy says the most discriminated group in uh, in America is the white man, and we need our own month. I don't think about Pride Month. I don't. No, we don't need our own Pride Month. We definitely need our own day. Um, how about Red Blooded American Day? That sounds better to me. Now, there's an Epstein story on here. I'll leave you a link in the description below. It looks like uh, there's been an investigation opened up into a mysterious death of a Clinton advisor who was linked to Jeffrey Epstein, who was found hanging from a tree, hung herself with a shotgun blast in the chest. So somebody must have shot herself and then hung herself. That's how them Clinton Chronicles go. You know how it is. I'm sure you've seen uh, some of the stories about the, the Clinton count. You know what I'm talking about. Like I said, go check out this article. This is actually pretty uh, crazy stuff. This is kind of a just another example of one of the many, many mysterious uh, deaths that happens around the Epstein-Clinton crime syndicate. Well, let me see here. I think I'm about done with these articles here. There was one more I wanted to uh, give you a little highlight on. What was it here? Oh, I think that's about it for us. That's about it for us, folks. I'm going to go ahead and call this a morning, a day. i got to get to work, get my coffee on, and get the heck out of here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Like, subscribe, and share to Vote Patriot. Sorry I couldn't bring you all the news, but I'm running out of time. And YouTube doesn't like half the stuff I got to say, so check out the links below. And don't forget about the Fox and Archibald, Blue Collar Talk, and, and chat sessions over on This Way Network as well. Over and out, folks.